dad was very, very strict and uh, he was a, a benevolent ruler, I'll put it that way. He even, that, that, those are his words. <laughs> uh, dad was, was this image, he was uh, pater, you know, father, and there was a great deal of respect and he demanded a great deal of us and of which I'm really glad, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Our relationship wasn't, I know on Lost in Space everyone was, you know, warm fuzzy feelings and, and uh, all that. I, I, we had a lot of loud, <laughs> loud conversations and it, we were a typical Italian family. We had food flying and uh, all sorts of great stuff, you know, but uh, there was a lot of love under there. The times that I would come to the set and watch him work, I didn't know this person who, was, who would sit there and just be really sweet and docile, you know. I'd, Dad was very vocal, very, very educated and very, I mean, there was no question as to what was going on in his mind from minute to minute because he would tell you. <clears throat> and uh, I think the character that was written for him uh, that he took on, uh, John Robinson was nothing like that. I mean, he was a very nice man and very sweet and, and nothing, nothing like what he really, really was. Uh, he went to uh, South America where they adored him. Oh, they just loved him. Uh, not only uh, as uh, Dr. Robinson, but of course Zorro. And he went down there to do a film, an, a, a remake of Zorro, to do a film about Zorro, and worked on a script for a long time. And uh, it was just never right. And in the meantime, uh, George Hamilton did the Gay Blade, and that finished the other one. However, I've heard that his last years down there that he would walk and walk and walk around the city he had friends everywhere and he he was so admired there and he had a very uh, a comfortable and uh, happy life down there and I understand that he did do personal appearances down there though uh, fencing we were driving in from the airport um, crowds were lining the um, roads, uh, I don't know, I think it's 30 or 40 miles into town and honestly they, there was never a, uh, an area where there were not people lining the, the road and I was not really catching on to what was happening and I asked uh, the person in the car with me, I said, what are all these people doing here? And she said, don't you know? They're here to see guys, so uh, that's... <laughs> he never let any of us forget that. <laughs> June is a great um, instigator, and she's a very... She gets people excited, and she's a great lady, and uh, I think there was a certain point when Dad would accept something as, oh, well, why not? Let's just do it and have fun. Um, and that was a fine line for him because he was very um, reserved and, and proper. Um, but I think, I think June brought out the, the fun side of him a lot. I think she did have a great deal to do with it. <laughs>